Hello everyone, what is up? My name is Gnail Carter, or Cuddlecore, as I'm known in the gaming community, and I am a professional Tekken 7 player for Equinox Gaming. I'd been gaming my whole life. I, I game since I was a child. I love competing, I love fighting games, and I love being the best at anything that I do. So naturally, I found that there were a lot of avenues you could take when it came to being in esports, along with being a pro player. So I took that on as a profession because it's something that I love. I eat, sleep, and drink it. I don't personally refer to myself as that. I refer to myself as a professional esports player, but I have referred to myself as a professional woman in esports, professional female player in esports, depending on the conversation and how important it is to be proud of that and, and, how, and how we're representing women on a wide scale with pride, with talent, with ferocity. So, I do refer to myself as a professional esports player who is a woman, but not a girl, because I'm an adult. But the term girl gamer, there's a lot of empowerment when women use it to take back the negative stigma that's connected to it based on um, some of the assumptions made by our own communities. I was currently featured on a Twitch billboard in Times Square to represent one of the black leaders in gaming and I saw myself and it was it was beautiful. I'm representing esports, I'm representing black women, I'm representing professional players in fighting games and there's so much pride and joy to be had in representing a community that I've been a part of for such a long time. It's not easy and sometimes we struggle at it but it's all the success that happens afterwards because we worked so hard, because we labored so hard to be one of the best in our professions. And that's what achieving means. It means succeeding in the, face, in the faces of adversity of every different kind. Some of the difficulties I've definitely noticed with being a professional esports player and being a woman is definitely there's always this comment about your appearance. People expect women to look a certain way, especially in this community. Definitely questioning of my credibility and of your credibility in general. When you compete, they question your skill. And those are definitely two big things that I, I noticed people question and judge about women when they begin to compete on different levels in their respective games. Well, I don't actually have a specific one, but I have a soundtrack, like a list. It's Tekken, it's Tekken music, throwback Tekken music that gets me pumped when I play. I am a huge fan of it. I've actually never worn glasses like these, especially with very round frames. They're thinner, but they complement my facial structure. So when I do have to wear like, team apparel and things like that, I have amazing glasses from Unsmart to complement my team merch. Make sure you have a solid community that has your back and supports you and respects you simply because you want to get better and because you have a passion for, for competing and, and playing the game. And making sure you have training partners or training partner that wants to be just as good as you are even better and that you all are always uplifting each other, supporting each other, helping each other out. These are really important bonds to have. 